So dehydration is when you don't have enough water in your body, which is a really serious problem created if you're not thinking about it consciously with sickle cell because your kidneys, um, as they're filtering all of the toxins out and releasing what you don't need, don't hold on to enough of the water in your body. It just doesn't concentrate your urine, just lets it all go. This causes you to urinate more frequently, but it also causes your body to lose water faster. So because of this, you need to hydrate more. We're going to talk about how much is the recommended amount um, in both children and adults, and what we can, what types of drinks count, what doesn't count, and what we can do to get a little bit more H2O in our bodies. So first of all, I'm going to show it in water bottle capacity because I think that's the majority of what all of us, definitely in the adult world at least, are walking around drinking. So we'll start with uh, adults. So the average adult, they say, is supposed to drink eight cups of water a day. Of course, nobody actually measures their water in cups. So what that equates to is four water bottles. I can tell that I, I can tell you that I typically don't drink four water bottles a day, but it would be great if you did. However, if you're living with sickle cell, you should drink at minimum a whole nother water bottle. So this is a lot of water, and this is just um, at a bare minimum. So I'm just doing my regular day-to-days. It's not extra hot out. Um, I'm not doing some, uh, you know, hardcore exercising. I, I'm not sweating a bunch or really cold, and I'm also not in pain. So this is just your average daily water intake for adults. For children, it happens to just be in single cell, just one less. So um, a uh, regular healthy child would need to drink three of these ages five and up and a child living with sickle cell would need four at the minimum. When you are experiencing pain or when you're doing any kind of exertion or the weather shifted, then you need to start drinking some more. So the question is, how do we get all this liquid in us or convince our children to drink it um, if you're not really into water? So um, there's some things that count and some things that don't. So I'm going to show you some, some options just move all these over here. Okay, so obviously, yes, you could drink five water bottles, but some of the other things, the first one I want to show you is something that does not count, although I think it should, but it really doesn't, is mm, coffee. Unfortunately, coffee doesn't actually count as a way to hydrate your body, so although it is made primarily of water, the coffee part doesn't allow us to absorb it and doesn't help with the dehydration that people living with sickle cell experience. So sorry, coffee doesn't count. However, on the upside, if you're looking for a little caffeine and some hydration, tea does count. So tea is an option. A typical mug of tea actually is a little bit over eight ounces. It's around 10 ounces. So that's um, a little bit over half of that water bottle that I showed you first. So tea is the first option. Um, something that a lot of people I've seen do on Facebook, and we just recently started doing it, is heavy is infused water so this is a great way if you're not really into the taste of water um, to get some extra hydration in there you just fill it up and it's good for a couple of days and then you can just pour off of it uh, this right here would be good for just a little bit over a day or one day if you were um, experiencing pain or you live in a hot climate right now we're just roasting down here um, or you know that you're gonna be expending a lot of energy, like moving or working out or if you play on some types of sports teams. Um, another thing that I like to do at our house, and I've seen some of the other parents do, is a smoothie. And you want to pay attention to what you put in the smoothie because it won't really count um, unless you put types of fruit or vegetables that hold a lot of water in them. Something like watermelon, the whole melon family is great for this. Uh, strawberries also have a decent amount of water. We like to sneak in some kale and carrots just because it's great to get those vegetables in there and also because those green leafy vegetables tend to carry a lot of water in them as well. So this is a really good option if just water in general is difficult for you or your uh, loved one and you want a little bit more flavor. Another option that I don't have a prop for, sorry guys, is Gatorade or adding those little um, packets of um, the Dawsony drops or something like that to make the water taste a little bit better. Of course, any kind of liquids in general, like milk or juice, do count, but the options that I showed here plus the Gatorade are your best option for staying hydrated.